Hello and welcome to Roosevelt Rebel with your host, Tisa Rebel Beltran. Good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever your day is. I am currently out hitting the headphones with my hand. I am heading to my house from far, far, far away land, which I call Mesa. Borderline Apache Junction. Uh, Last night, my best friend's car, the radiator was leaking, so she just left the vehicle there. I signed her up for AAA so that she could call in the morning so I didn't have to miss work or drive out there 35 miles away. Um, And then uh, she called this morning to have them come and pick her uh, truck up in her. And they were like, your account isn't active yet. It will be active tomorrow. It takes 48 hours. Ooh, that's a nice bike. Um, so she called me at 530 this morning and was like, hey, I'm sorry. And I was like, okay, I'll be there. So I drove out there and I called AAA, and I was like, hey, I need a service, I need a tow, and then she was like, what part of the parking lot are you at, and I was like, I'm not with the vehicle, I'm headed there right now, and then she was like, well, you have to call back because you need to be with the vehicle, and I was like, ugh, so, called back when I got there, and that was, I was like, I need to go to work at nine and I can't be late. I have to work. And she's like, I understand that, but you need to be with your ve- the vehicle. So that pissed me off. But I got there and called and we were starving. So I went and got us breakfast while we waited. And finally they showed up. And uh, now I'm on my way home. I have to get to work. In what time is it anyway? I it's eight oh nine. I have to clock in at eight fifty five. So maybe I do like this shift because <laughs> I got shit done this morning ish. Um, yeah, shift bids are coming up, and I need to figure out what I want if I want to continue with this mid after mid mid because it's like nine to seven or do I want something earlier? So I have more time and like actually get on a, uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to get on that kind of schedule. But now I feel like I've been driving forever and I haven't. Isn't that fucking ridiculous? I feel like I've been driving like 20 minutes, but I probably have been driving. I, I don't know. I didn't even look at the time. I think it's just the exhaustion talking, uh, because I was like, she's like, just in case if I have to call you in the morning, um, you should go to bed. And I was like, you're right. I should go to bed. And then I was like, (laughs) and then I was like, okay, I can't turn the TV on. I can't even fucking do anything because I need to be going to bed. And uh, so that's what's happening Okay, so I needed to, all right, it says, I'm going to be home in 30 minutes, and this is taking forever, like, the, this is, like, horrible, this traffic is horrible, it says, yeah, no time has changed, I'm still getting there 15 minutes before I have to clock in, um, yeah, but this week has been actually really good, um, I did a podcast last week, so um, should I get on the 101? No, but it looks like there's a lot of horrible traffic right here. Um, So I had a meeting with my uh, professor, and we discussed my career goals, and we have a pretty solid plan, and I'm really excited and nervous uh, about it, so... Um, let's just say that I'm excited and nervous about it. And 
they say you shouldn't reveal your plan. So I'm not really going to go, go ahead and do that. I just know that I have some plans and this podcast is going to grow with these plans. And uh, my podcast company, Rebel Riot, is, oh, there was an accident. Um, we'll be growing. Um, so I love that I can do podcasts while I am on the go. So you just plug in my headphones into the uh, phone because I have the app on my phone and I'm able to produce a show. And I am been looking into like getting a whole setup. I've been doing this for four years. These podcasts. Oh shit. I need to. I think I need to get out of this lane. Whoa, bro. I'm sorry that you're listening to me navigate through. No, I'm not sorry. It is entertainment. Um, I've been looking, I've been doing podcasts for four years now. And the one thing that I've been really wanting to get is a whole setup. And I feel like this traffic is son of a bitch. That's what I feel about this traffic right now. It looks like it's going to be at a dead stop in a minute. Um, But I've been looking at equipment so that I can continue producing shows and um, figuring out uh, how to produce a show with equipment where I'm able to do lines in and stuff like that. So I've been looking at some stuff and options and looking right now at a lower uh, price but a higher option of what it can provide. So I'm excited about that. Am I going the right way? (laughs) I just feel like this like red that I'm seeing on the screen is just like kind of giving me anxiety, but it's telling me that I'm still going to get there at the same time that nothing has changed. So, but it's just like, I have not driven in daylight during uh, rush hour. Oh, I knew this guy was going to fucking cut me off. That's why I slowed my ass down. Um, I've been driving. Oh my God. Is this telling me that I have to, I am not, this is not good. I have not driven in, uh, four years in, in traffic for work to drive to work or anything like that because I, it was the pandemic and I was working close to home at the library and then uh, I didn't have a job uh, in Colorado and then I did get a job and then shit happened and then I had to move back home to Arizona but uh, I haven't driven in traffic in four years the last time when I was working at this company uh, and I had to drive fucking like an hour every morning to work it was not good but i enjoyed it because it was the company vehicle and uh okay i don't have to get out of this lane i don't think oh shit i think i do uh because i cannot be late to work how am i gonna get over to this fucking lane okay i think i might be able to do in front of this truck have to slow down apparently because there's no way that I can oh my god I cannot go this direction there's no way that I can get over son of a bitch I'm gonna have to just do it all right I did it (laughs) I can't go to eastbound because if I went eastbound I would be going to the Tucson direction and then I would have to fucking get off and I think the off ramp is like a mile or two the other direction so there's no way that I could do that so anyway um, yeah I've been doing this podcast now for four years and this is I've been looking at the options of getting a new equipment and I think I was I might have been talking about something different before that, but I just got anxiety from trying to get going. But anyhow, either way, 
it's neither here nor there. I am really excited about this podcast and how far it's come. It's been four years with my podcast company, Rebel Riot, and I've produced a lot of shows, and um, some of them no longer exist, except for like old episodes. If you want to listen to them, you can. It's up to you. Um, and it, it's not about producing for me. A lot of people put this as their 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 job, and the the revenue is what they're trying to make money off of. Um, by not having like a full time job or career, and you know they're they're raw dogging it through life by doing just the podcast and putting a lot of time and, and energy energy into that. But for me, I really do enjoy it. And it would be awesome if I could just do the podcast and other creative things instead of having to uh, work a corporate gig. But I find that it is totally okay. And I accept the fact and I'm getting back into doing the podcast. I'm learning how to do time management a lot better. So that's why you've been getting a podcast at least once a week as of late uh, because I'm actually putting a lot of effort into doing this because um, with ADHD and mental illness and physical illness uh, you know it it was hard to be able to put in an episode every week um, the past year or two but i'm p- p- making sure then doing it as a priority for myself because this is something that i really enjoy and um it is s- something that gives me pleasure and oh it gives me pleasure and i um i just have a lot of thoughts and goals for this podcast and I I do miss shot about it, but um, I'm trying to find a way that we can still do shot about it uh, without the drunkenness. So you know, we'll still work on it. Uh, I have thoughts and ideas. It's just actually getting together with the girls to do it because we're all busy in our, uh, this guy's cutting me off. We're all busy in our own lives and trying to, you know, navigate through this crazy world and figure out, um, what we're doing. And some of us are moving. Some of us are, um, sober. Some of us are, um, just trying to get life, you know? And, uh, It's so shot about it being sober wouldn't be exactly a good thing. Um, but I do have ritual, which is a non alcoholic um, uh, tequila. And I've, from what I've heard, it is really good. Uh, there is zero alcohol in it. And so um, the problem is is that i wouldn't want to trigger anybody and be like let's have this tequila shot it's not real but then like what if it triggered us to want to drink real alcohol because that's always the thing that you have to worry about when it comes to addictions and people who are sober like i have that in my forefront all the time with certain people that i'm hanging out with because um if they're sober i don't want to mess up their sobriety and um so as i'm going to school for psychology and learning how the brain works and how things trigger and you know alcoholism and all that jazz i'm figuring out you know i don't want to put anybody in danger of ruining their sobriety so um with shot about it uh 
I'm going to see Candace this week, so um, I'm going to see what if she wants to do an episode, possibly. And I don't know if Sabrina will be there. <sighs> I'm getting anxiety from these cars. I have not had anxiety in so long. Um, and I'm getting it driving because of the way that people drive here. And there's so much construction going on. And uh, all that jazz. So anyway, yeah, so the podcast is going well. Uh, I check the statistics all the time to make sure everything's fucking going good. And um, just a lot of things are happening. Social life is going well. Uh, went to Friday. We went to, what did we do Friday? Oh, the Arizona Science Center and played around and you could go to OG underscore TR Beltran and see some videos from that. I went with my friend and we took her daughter and then I went and saw the Taylor Swift laser show. Uh, unfortunately, they could not go in. Well, they did go in, but then the baby was freaking out because uh, understandable. It's a brand new baby. Well, not brand new as in like a ta uh, uh, like a newborn, but as in a new soul. So she was scared of the dark walking into the planetarium. And, and, and so it was an experience for her. Um, so they, I went alone and watched, it was all right. It was some good parts, some okay, but it was totally worth the money. Um, if you're into laser shows and stuff like that. And then, uh, Saturday, I visited my brother and sister-in-law and the boys. And then Sunday morning, I woke up and went to the boys' uh, swimming lessons. And then we went to a little craft market that was there. And then I went home and then I went to the Diamondbacks versus Cubs game. So then it's just been super busy and I'm going to take a nap at some point today. That's what my fucking plan is. Because I'm tired as fuck. I didn't turn the TV on last night and I just went straight to bed. Hey, I've been to that location. I'm by my old work from 2018. It's so weird driving by it and all the memories... I was there for like a year and a half. I loved that position. But of course it was a male run industry. And they tried to ruin my life. Which they did for a little bit. Um, but anyhow. I am just checking in with you guys. And just giving you an update on what's been going on. And I will be doing another podcast this week. That is more informative and has more stuff because this is just like, oh, I have the time to be able to do a podcast and say, hey, to all my listeners, um, anything coming up on my agenda this week, helping Candace uh, move and homework. That's what I've been uh uh, yeah, that's what I got so far that I can think of. Um, my friend Sh Shauna, my best friend, wants to go to a football game. And I'm not really into football. And the day that she wanted to go is the day that I'm taking um, my niece to a, a concert. So I was just like, I, I could go, but not that day because I have a concert to go to. Oh my God, everything is going to a dead stop. Um, so, and she was like, okay, <laughs> the way Shauna talks, okay, but not really, <sighs> that's not the way that she talks, where is this telling me to go? All right, it's telling me to stay on the 10. All right, I'm definitely going to let you guys go because now I need to focus and check my messages because Shauna was messaging me. I left her with the tow truck guy, which I'm sure was, he was fine because he's a, triple a driver so <laughs> uh, 
I'm so tired. Thank you for tuning in. I'm going to have another podcast this week, another episode this week. So tune in. Appreciate it. And oh my God, this is telling me to go on the 17. And I am way too far from the 17 to get on it. Suck my grits. Thank you for tuning in. This is uh, Tasa Rebel Beltran. And you have a good week. And I'll talk to you shortly. Thank you. Bye-bye. Now I have to figure out how to open it and turn it off. Oh, I think I figured it out. (laughs) Love you. Bye.